Hello, welcome to IT Skills channel. My name is Aiden. In today's video, I'm going to deploy System Center Virtual Machine Manager SCVMM and I'm going to deploy it. The reason we need to deploy System Center Virtual Machine Manager is because I have Hyper-V over here and right now, my Hyper-V, I cannot control a whole lot. For example, I want to create I'm going to go ahead and prepare the server and I'm going to go ahead and just to hear what I'm doing is I'm fast forwarding the video to make sure that we can go ahead and configure the IP address, the change the computer name. I'm basically going through all the steps. This is something that we already seen before, so I don't want to spend too much time going through it. Here is you can see I'm configuring my DNS information. You know, after that, I'm going to reboot the computer after I join to the domain. You know, computer is rebooted. And now we are also going to go ahead and simply go to get the ISO that we need for the SCBMM. So this is all fast forwarded. In reality, this may take you about freaking 20 minutes maybe because it does take a long time to get the copying and downloading going. And over here, you can see I'm installing the prerequisite future. You have to download the Windows ADK. I download the ADK future. And then you also have to install like Windows PE and then Windows Deployment Assessment Tool or Windows Assessment Tool in this case. So you can see I did that. I'm going to install that. And this is going to take a little bit again, so I'm going to fast forward once more. This probably takes again another five minutes at the very least if you're doing it real time. Alright, so that's done now. What we're doing is we're going to download another prerequisite, which is installing the SQL ODBC 2017. This is what you need before you can install the SQL Utilities, which is also part of the prerequisite. So you have to download the actual version of SQL you have. I downloaded SQL 2017 and installed it onto the server as my SQL database. So I need to download the ODBC 2017 version. If I download any other version, it will not work. So you can see I'm getting the 2017 version or version 17 rather, and I'm going to install it. It's going to make sure that I agree with the EULA. I'm going to click the drop down menu and check that install. And then I'm going to hit next and I'm going to install it. So this will install. Once it's done now, I can install the SQL utilities. This is the next piece because without this one, you can't install the SQL utilities. And so I'm installing that SQL command line utilities for more specifically. And now that I did this, I can check the refresh, the prerequisite. You can see that it's only prompting for memory and the restart. So we're doing super good already. So the memory and restart, we can do restart right now and we'll take care of the memory as well. The memory requirement is actually... 16 gigabyte and I'm just having mine set to you know 8 gigabyte so I'm gonna increase the memory to 20 gigabyte because the better memory we have the better the better it is so you can see over here I changed it to 15 gigabyte uh, 16 gigabyte it wasn't enough so I have to change the memory to 20 gigabyte so I'm just gonna do it on the fly right now so I don't have to power it down luckily with this Hyper-V I can just go to file and then I can change the memory. So go to file settings and then click on the memory. I'm doing static memory, not dynamic memory, so I can give it 20 gigabyte. So that's it. Let's hit apply. It's gonna apply the changes. And that it's pretty much it now. If I go ahead and check the memory that the new memory extended, right click properties, you can see that I have, you know, 19 gigabyte free and that's it. That's where the memory is at. So we're good on this. And now what the next part we have to do is we have to install the SQL 
you know, actual SQL server. So we need to install the SQL server 2017 enterprise. That's what I have. I'm going to install that. And by installing it, then it will be able, we'll be able to configure this because without SQL database, we cannot do anything about it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead, open up SQL extraction folder for SQL Server 2017 Enterprise. And we're gonna go to installation and we're gonna go ahead and install new SQL standalone server. This is needed for SCVMM or any system center product, whether you're doing SCCM, system center, system center configuration manager or whatever you try to do. So you can see we hit next, install it. We're only doing the database version we have a firewall warning over here. I'm gonna do, you know, disable the firewall because a lot of times for enterprise application, it actually causes a lot of issues uh, for firewall, especially if you don't have the right rule in place. For this lab, I'm just gonna disable it because I don't have any need for that. But in the production environment, we won't disable it. We create some rules and stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead, turn off the domain firewall, private firewall and public firewall. And once I do this, it's simply going to be allowing us to continue without any warning. Again, like I emphasized before, in a production environment, you do not want to disable your firewall. You want to keep your firewall, any protection you can get. And here I'm just going to select the database services. That's it. I'm not going to select anything else. I may check the replication, but anything else, you don't need it for this. If you want to select anything else, that's on your own but we just need a database database service database engine service that's all we need so and then from this point on i'm gonna go ahead name the sql database instant i already did that and now i'm gonna just use the you know this default service account the local service account and i'm fast forwarding this video again just to make it this speedy and fast otherwise this could be the longest video out there in youtube and i'm trying to avoid that so if you want to see maybe all the extent of detail, let me know. But here I'm adding my domain user as the admin for the SQL server. And I'm going to agree with everything. And I'm just going to, if I have any problem, I can just, you know, go, go back to it. But I'm just going to hit install. This is going to be fast forwarded again because the installation can take about 5 to 10 minutes depending on your machine, speed, and everything else. So you can see... I'm simply going to make it where this is not going to take so long. But if you're doing this on a production or you're trying to do these fancy things on your lab, you think you're going to get it done in like 20 minutes, you are wrong on that. You're not going to get it done in 20 minutes. So prepare to spend some time, especially when installation doesn't go as well as you would like. But you can see here in this simulated fast, you know, paced environment, we got everything completed. It's happy, but I had to do the prerequisite check mark beforehand. And so now I'm going to go back and go back to SCVMIM and I'm going to go ahead and start setting up AD, preparing the AD account. So if you want to have a highly available SCVMM, then you need to save the configuration into Active Directory. I'm going to launch my Active Directory under my domain controller. And I am going to go full screen mode here and I'm going to go ahead and go to users and create a new user. Basically, I'm going to call it ITKY SCC SV, S, SC VMM, and I'm going to just, you know, make the username the same thing. And then I'm going to supply the password here real quick. Here we go. I did that and I'm going to hit finish. That is the part one for the AD side. There's another part we have to do which is creating a, a schema con or container. So that way the container will be able to use for the SCC, SC, SC VMM. So we're gonna go create container as it's telling us, this, we, it's actually called distributed key management. So this is where we're gonna manage our key. But before that, let's see if we can browse to the account. We did, so we're good. So Instead of, we could easily just store a local system, but we want to do an Active Directory so we can make it highly available. And here, I'm going to do the container. And to do this one, I have to open Atsy Edit. And after that, I have to browse to my Active Domain, Connect to, I teach KY. And then from this point on, I have to browse to my AD uh, OU. 
So the OU I'm going to create is the same OU where my account sits. It's going to be under IT services, ITKY services. And then I'm going to click container here. And then I'm going to name the container. So I'm just going to call it SCVMM. And that's it. No creativity right now. And you can see the view, the information of the container. And I'm going to hit finish. Now I can right click the container. Let me go back here. I'm going to properties the container and then you can see the distributed name. I'm going to copy this or distinguished name. I'm going to copy this distinguished name. And I'm going to paste this into over here, the distributed key management. And it's liking what I'm doing so far. And now I have to supply the password of the AD account I created. And so now what we did is we make this SCCM SCVMM highly available. It's not in a local environment, so it's going to be fine. And so it doesn't like something. What does it not like? Oh, yeah. I have to make add the, the domain admin to the local computer account, local admin group of the computer. So let's go to properties. Actually, let's go to tools and then computer management. And then let's go to local users and groups, groups, administrator, add. And I'm going to add the ITKY, SCCM, SCVMM. I keep saying SCCM. Now my head stuck with SCCM. But they have Microsoft have that interchangeable terminology. But anyway, we're good. Let's hit next now. If there's any issues, we can double check. But we can see we're good. It's going to start installing the SC VMM server 2022. I'm going to check the VMM's management service and it's going to install the console by default. And I'm going to change the name who owns this, basically the license. This is for license purposes. And I'm going to just make it ithky.org, my organization. And I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to hit accept the EULA agreement. Next. Next, and I'm going to check update. I love getting updates, you know, and this is going to be getting update, latest thing. I'm going to just uh, not going to say anything. You can see you already recognized my SQL because it's locally installed on this machine. And I'm going to go ahead and just hit next if I like my DB name. Otherwise, I can change it. The DB name is perfect. Virtual Manager DB is perfect name for this. And so we are happy with the way this thing looks so far. It's looking like a promising start. So I'm going to click on next. And you can see over here, this is where I have the SQL installed on the machine. So SQL Server 2017, just so that way you know, because otherwise without SQL, this would not have happened. It will not auto populate like that. Let's hit next. Now we're going to supply the account again because before we didn't do the basically the account we didn't do the sql server before shame before so i'm going to do this again so you get to see it twice lucky for you and i'm going to paste the container again copy the container and paste it in there the container distinguished name let's go back to our dc and then copy this distinguished name uh, we, not, we don't need to do it in PowerShell. Let's just copy this. Okay, now let's go back to our SC VMM server. And that's not it. Yeah, it is. There you go. We're going to copy it and then we're going to hit next. And this time it should go through. This is our port information. This is the default port. Keep it handy. And this is where it's going to store the database of the SCC VMM. And then we're going to hit next if we're happy with it. In the production environment, you want to probably point to a network share or somewhere. And here is our what we're doing. We're installing the server and the console of the VMM server on the management console. And those are the port information. And then where it's installing location. So all this looks pretty good so far. And all we need to do is finalize it finish and i'm gonna fast forward this again so this is gonna take about 15 minutes 
give or take, but I fast forwarded 20 times. So it's going to look like it's doing wonders, but you just have to wait. Anything you do in a home lab or production lab, when it comes to installing anything or configuring everything, time, patience. You can see with our speed lightning, you're watching this in the video, you, can, you don't have to wait for it. It's finished already. We can hit, you know, close or open the console, uncheck those boxes. We don't want to open the console right away. We're definitely going to uncheck the, the, the other one, but we will open the console. So yeah, let's go ahead. It's going to open the console. And you can see here, I'm just going to hit connect because this is using a local account. So I'm just going to hit connect. And this is going to open the SCVMM Server 2022, System Center 2022 Virtual Machine Manager. And you can see we got it going. This is all the video we want to talk about. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of video, you want to see follow-up of this video, please like, subscribe, share. It will help us so much. Thank you and have a great rest of the day. Peace.